Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one, it is time for some more cube theories. Because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about the cube, a lot of theories going around, a lot of different things. And guys, I'm hoping to clear up a ton for you today because we're going to be like busting some myths about a couple of things. Adding some information and confirmation to some other ones that definitely could be happening. And then I'm going to be showing you my theory on how the cube might be a glitch, granted an intentional glitch from Epic. But there's a ton of things pointing towards it, so then with that we'll also be going going through where exactly the cube is going why the cube is even here and more so yeah guys going to be an absolute ton of fun and if you enjoyed today's video hit that like button down below if you are excited for season six and the cube on top of that i'm just curious what is your favorite place to drop at at the start of a game in fortnite for me i've actually been trying like shifty shafts and stuff like that but it's probably the containers the secret container area sort of near lonely that's always such a good spot but yeah guys without further ado here let's jump on into it with the first thing i want to go over over it, which is actually a clue and a sort of myth I want to bust. I guess it's not. You know what? It's easier to just go through it and explain it as I go along. One part I think is a myth and one part might actually be true. You'll get what I mean. But yeah, this technically points towards something that has to do with my theory coming up here, but it is still very important. So basically, this has to do with the rumored brand new castle location and the Viking village disappearing. Is it true or is it false? Well, first of all, if you weren't aware, this idea comes from this promotional piece that Fortnite put out on their Twitter so it is indeed official but within that there's some interesting things that you can see in the background of this and the first of which is that on the back left that is the hill with the Viking village on it because you can tell by the waterfall but instead there is no actual Viking village on top of it which is definitely interesting because it seems to mean that the Viking village will disappear however guys I am pretty sure that the Viking village will stick around and here is why so with these promotional type things these ones are specifically for e and the backgrounds of them don't really seem to be from the actual game itself because they're always slightly different. Like as you can see from this one that was posted yesterday, it shows Greasy Grove and they reused this one a bunch which has actually been around for like about a month maybe. But there should be a house back here that isn't there. Like as you can see, here I am lining up the exact same shot in game with that house and it's uh, not there. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the house will disappear in a future update because why would it? But on top of that, if you take a look at another one that they posted. They've been using this one for a ton of time and the background is technically from season three because if you take a look at this building right here, this hasn't been around since the beginning of season four. And that's the one that got destroyed by the meteor. So yeah, with these emote things, they don't necessarily mean much and I do think that the Viking village will stick around. However, when you get into the portion that has to do with the castle, I think it actually might be true because it's the other way around. You're not taking away something, you're actually adding something and they don't usually do that with this promotional stuff and again guys if you take a look at the right side of this there appears to be some sort of blurry building over here with flags on the top that does indeed look like a castle and honestly i do think there's a chance that this could be confirmed especially with the stuff about the sprays how they've been known to sort of tease things coming up in the future there's one about a castle which you probably saw and i do think that is pointing towards this a little bit so it makes sense but how exactly will the castle come in well that's what we have to talk about here moving into it with my theories my clues that has to do with runes some information from supposed leaks and even the enforcers so getting into it here with this clue right here this has to do with the runes themselves that have shown up on the map because if you have been following kevin's journey which is what a lot of people are calling the cube and i just absolutely love that name it's perfect i mean just look at him he's such a kevin but if you've been following it he's been leaving runes around the map and so far as of me making this video he's put two down but probably more depending on when you watch this and with those runes comes gravity fields and magnetic fields and that's all interesting but what's even more interesting is this second rune that he put down because it is 100% facing somewhere. The first rune that we have is lined up with a map perfectly with the grid of all of it and there's nothing really special about that. However with the second rune it's at an angle which definitely makes it seem that these runes around the map will be connected and will point towards a part of the map which I will talk about in a little bit here. But before we get into that we have to talk about this other part of the theory which is super important is this information that comes from from FN leak on Twitter. You may have seen it before, but it is super important for our theory moving forward. So what FN leak did is he basically showed some names of stuff that apparently has to do with the cube moving around the map. And what was interesting about that is that there were things about runes, but they had numbers next to them and there was a total of seven of them. Now we didn't really know what that meant at the time, but now that we've had two runes show up on the map, we do for sure think that there's going to be five more of them showing 
up. So that by itself is super duper important because then we can judge by the path that the cube has taken so far as to where it might be going in the future. So first of all, I did have a theory about this, but now it's getting a little bit more confusing because the cube is moving sort of in a triangular position to where the previous runes have been. Now that's not for sure 100% the case, but since we supposedly have five locations left, I'm thinking that it's likely that it could make a heptagon pattern, which could then point to where it is going. Because if you do try to like line up the lines themselves as to like where the runes are pointing, it doesn't really make sense. They kind of line up off the edge of the map above Lazy Links, so that doesn't really, no, that doesn't really work. So instead I had the idea to sort of use a heptagon shape, and if we put it over the map right here, we can start to see some interesting stuff show up. And what I think makes this more interesting is that when you start to put lines across that, and these lines aren't perfect, but when you connect it from like the corners and go straight across, cut it in half, they intersect at this point right near Loot Lake. Now why then is that important? Well you may know, but we got other information from, from supposed rumors and stuff that do seem very likely, but like FN Leak tweeted about this, there was another name for something like Move to Lake within the game, alongside the stuff about seven runes. So since these point towards uh, sort of next to Loot Lake, sort of at that like corner piece, it's 100% possible that the cube could be making this path, making runes around the lake itself, and then it's going to create something in the middle of that that will either destroy Loot Lake or create something in Loot Lake. And that is where things start to get super interesting, because it leads us to our next thing here, and that is that the cube could be something that creates things on the map. And I know that sounds pretty crazy, but it might just make sense, judging by some other things we've been able to find. So first of all, guys, just judging by the previous seasons, we've had so much that destroys things on the map or sort of alters them, makes things go crazy. We had the meteors destroy a ton of areas, make dusty divot and stuff like that. We then had the uh, villains or the traveler visitor. I mean, <laughs> he changed a bunch of things around, messed a ton of things up and did, I guess, bring things in. But more specifically, he did technically mess up a bunch of the world. Now, on top of that, there's another thing that's pretty important with this. It's pretty crazy and I don't 100% know if this could be true, but I still have to bring it up, guys, because if it is true, it is going to be insane, and that has to do with the cube being glitched. But specifically starting out here, it has to do with the Enforcer. You may have seen in my previous videos that we talked about how the Enforcer, with his description and stuff like that, seems to be trying to put the world back to how it was and how the cube doesn't seem to be connected with him. But there's something else that I thought of that is super, super interesting, and that is that the Enforcer is the only skin that seems to be super glitchy. You may have seen that his legs like go crazy at times when he's gliding in. Sometimes when he's running around, he makes these weird shapes and he's the only skin that does that. Now, a ton of us thought that this was just a bug in the game and that Epic Games would fix it. But listen here, guys, what if they did this on purpose to show that the Enforcer isn't really supposed to be in this world and that he's sort of glitching out and that the cube is a product of that glitch in the system and it showed up and is going to start doing things on the map as well and maybe corrupting it a little bit. Maybe that's why the rifts and the gravity fields do sort of look like they're corrupt and maybe destroying things. There's also then the fact that the final form of Drift, and if you don't remember, Drift is technically from our world. He came through with a rift, so he could also be part of this, you know, messed up Fortnite world that's trying to fix itself and thus being glitchy because he has lightning and stuff in his final form, which shouldn't really be the case. If he's a normal human from our world, why would he have lightning on him? That doesn't really make sense unless it's a side effect of him going through the rifts and the rifts are sort of glitching out which then actually connects with this other clue I have if you go to the motel sign that showed up with the enforcers when they showed up and actually hit it with your pickaxe little bits of lightning show up with it which just seems to be like it's still not quite right the enforcers are trying to put things back but I feel like they might just mess things up more by trying to fix everything if you know what I mean now if you still think this glitch stuff is a little far-fetched and I know it's a pretty crazy theory but there is another thing that connects to this whole glitchy type thing with the cube and all of that stuff and that is what happens when you actually get eliminated by the cube itself so once you go up to the cube and you get it angry and also this llama here is a little bit scared don't worry man you'll be fine I'll be taking the damage but once you uh, fire at the cube a bunch of times and get it to eliminate you you get this very interesting unique message at the bottom that's this flashing glitchy type animation which is very interesting because it is specifically like glitchy there's of course the symbols from the cube itself but there's also random like normal symbols like squares the dotted square stuff like that and it flashes in and out like something that is glitched out you know what I mean it's obviously
obviously not working as it's supposed to. So connecting that to the Enforcer's glitchiness, to Drift's lightning, and then the Motel Sign's lightning, I think it's kind of likely that the map will experience some sort of big glitch. And then maybe that's why the cube is coming in, maybe the cube is part of the glitch itself, and then it's going to go around the map and destroy things, or maybe create things. The cube could be moving towards the center of Loot Lake and then create something there. It could also move to where the castle was that was shown in the uh, image, and it could create the castle over there as well. There's a ton of possibility here, we just have to wait and see where the next runes will show up, and that'll let us even better pinpoint what exactly is going to happen with them. But again, judging by that heptagon, I definitely think that it's going to have to do with Loot Lake. I feel like the cube is going to move around the map a bit, and they might point towards that, so we'll have to wait and see. And also guys, it is entirely possible that the cube's movement could be still making that heptagon pattern, but Epic Games is trying to switch it up on us, because if they just made it go around in like a circle around the map, that would be a little bit too obvious. I think Epic Games had that in mind and is trying to be a step ahead of us by making it go across and maybe connect to this point over here and then go across the map again all over the place. But since we've got like two weeks left in the season about, the cube has a ton of time to move, so it's likely that it'll take its time and it still could make this pattern. And then we'll officially see where it is pointing, but I'm placing my guesses on Loot Lake. So all of that might come together, means something's going to be created, but there's going to be a ton of things happening for for sure. So yeah guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, be sure to subscribe for more fun videos like this coming out in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here such as on the left going through the brand new high stakes challenges and how best to do them, and then on the right a bunch of leaks that were revealed in trailers and stuff like that. But other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.